Hello Unlimited Friends. Today I want to show you what it means to understand and apply the Law of Abundance based on the Law of Attraction. Hi, I'm Zara Mahoon from zmahoon.com and on this channel we talk about anything and everything that has to do with the Law of Attraction so that we can use it to create an unlimited life. Okay, let's get right into it. What is the law of abundance? And how does it correlate or relate to the law of attraction? Basically, the law of abundance is a subset of the law of attraction, which means that the law of abundance is a law based on the law of attraction. Just like Newton's laws of motions are based on the concept of gravity, the law of abundance is based on the law of attraction. Okay, so having laid that foundation, see the thing is, what is abundance? What is prosperity and what is money? All of it is energy. Attracting money means that you have to generate a vibration which is energy in order to magnetize money and bring it to you. What is the vibration that brings money to us? That, my friends, is the vibration of abundance. What is the vibration of abundance? How do you generate a vibration of abundance? Well, a vibration of abundance is a vibration of confidence. It is a vibration of knowing that whatever you want is going to come to you. It's that confidence of saying, I can have, be or do anything I want. There is more than enough out there for all my needs and wants. Not just what I need, but my desires, what I want. Because folks, there's a difference between needs and desires. Needs come from a place of insecurity. Wants come from a place of feeling secure. It's the difference between insecurity and confidence. Confidence comes from the place of knowing and having. And the lack of money comes from a place of insecurity. And you'll see it manifest in different ways. Oh, I better not throw that away. I might need it. Oh, um, I better not share this with anyone because if they take it, then there will be less for me. All of these thinkings, these thoughts are an uh, identifier. They are an indication of lackful thinking. Because when you are abundant-minded, you don't care about this stuff. Okay, so now let me get into it and explain to you the law of abundance so that by the time I finish this video, you will know how to use it. And that to me, my friends, is exciting. All right, so I'm going to start right here with the basics. This is the emotional scale. Right up here is joy and down here is despair. In the middle is worry. Now, where do you think confidence is? Where do you think a feeling of security is? It's definitely not over here. It's not over here. Yes, folks, it's right up here. The feeling of abundance, of security, of confidence is right at the top of the emotional scale. What does that mean to us? Well, what it means to us is that if we want to attract more money into our life, if we want more abundance and prosperity, we have to vibrate over here because this is where that part of gold is. This is all the money that we want. But if we are over here, if we are worrying about money, we are not attracting money. We are attracting the lack of it. I know you already know this because I've mentioned it so many times and I know you must have heard it from a lot of other teachers. So let's move on now to the next piece. You see, the universe 
responds to all the subjects in your life based on where you're vibrating. So if you are vibrating with confidence, then the universe is going to bring you all the things that to be confident about. So you'll be confident in your work. You'll be confident in the money that's coming to you. You'll be confident in your relationships. You'll be confident about the way you look. And the result of that confidence is going to be that all subjects in your life are going to correspond to this vibration. So everything in your life is going to correspond to this vibration. And that, my friends, is what the law of abundance is all about. The law of abundance says that if you vibrate with the feeling of abundance, then all subjects in your life will reflect abundance. It's as simple as that. Now, having said that, what does it mean with respect to money specifically? Well, what it means is, Get off the subject of money. Yes, get off the subject of money and vibrate abundance. Because if you're over here, if you think that you're worrying about money, you need to get off the subject of money and on to the subject of abundance because they are two separate things. Money can vibrate. So money is one of the things that can vibrate on the vibration of abundance. But it's not the only thing. The number of friends you have can vibrate on the frequency of abundance. Your excellent health can vibrate on the feeling of abundance. Your relationships, your spouse, your children, your relationships can vibrate on this frequency. In fact, the easiest thing is nature. Nature vibrates on this frequency and when you appreciate nature, you start vibrating on the frequency of abundance. And if you are vibrating on the emotion of abundance, get what? guess what? The money in your life is also going to be attracted to it because your thoughts are always generating an vibration of abundance. That, my friends, is the law of abundance. The law of abundance is think about those things in your life that you already feel an abundance of. And then if you do that, then the abundance of money will start showing up because the subject of your vibration is not important. The vibration is important. The emotion of the vibration is important. So if you can start thinking of trees, if you can think of water that you have in abundance in your life, air to breathe, sunshine to enjoy, birds to look at, beautiful blue sky, the abundance of these things it is all abundance. All sorts of different abundance in your life is there. And if you just start looking at the abundance of other things in your life, then the money has to follow. Because if you stay on this vibration, all the subjects in your life will start reflecting it. And that, my friends, is the secret to manifesting money. That, my friends, is the law of abundance. The law of abundance says just think about those things that are already in abundance that you can appreciate and feel good about. Go up the emotional scale about then all the other subjects in your life will be magnetized to join you at that vibrational frequency. So, what do you do every morning when you wake up, look out of your window, or go for a walk and appreciate the abundance in nature? 
when you enjoy food, appreciate the abundance of food. Appreciate the abundance of people who made this food, who brought it to the grocery store or the, uh, the restaurant or wherever it is that you're eating. Start noticing the abundance of all things. And when you start noticing abundance, that's when abundance will start showing up in your life. Because remember, our vibration is like a magnet. And just now, you don't have the magnet charged in the right way. And that is what is taking you down to a place of worry. Worry is negative. Worry is the negative end of the magnet that's going to push away the thing that you want. And a feeling of abundance is going to attract more of what you want. That, my friends, is as simple as it gets. It really is simple. I'm telling you, law of attraction, once you get the hang of it, it is really, really simple. Anyone can do it. And it is my job to help you to understand the simplicity of it. So I hope that you are going to go and try this uh, process of recognizing abundance in your life in order to magnetize more. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment with the word abundance so that I know that you did get value out of it. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you'll come back for more. And if you would like to do so, please remember to click on the notification bell so that I can send you an invitation. And do remember to share this video with anyone that you think would benefit from it. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you hopefully in my next video. Bye for now.